you know, I remember years ago, they were gonna make a remake of this movie starring Ronda Rousey. Then she got her ass whooped. Yo, what is up? Man, currently in Sacramento, it's raining like crazy. No need to leave the house. I'm not going to the cinema. I'm not watching Scream 6. So, what else? Let me check out Netflix. And here's a movie that's been brought to my attention for over 30 plus years. Everybody and mama seen this movie but me. Came out in 1989, Roadhouse, starring Patrick Swayze, Sam Elliott, and the beautiful Kelly Lynch. Now, I seen the trailers years ago. He's a bouncer in a little club. I'm like, man, I, I'm, I'm cool. <laughs> I don't want to see this. Took me this long to see it. And everybody's been in my ear. Yo, dude, you need to check out this flick. Damn. Checked it out last night. Premise is pretty easy. You have a dude with a mysterious past. Works in New York at a nightclub. He's approached by another club owner from Mississippi. Hey, I pay you more money if you travel to Mississippi, leave this job. I'll make you the head man of security. Of course, he takes the job. And he's called which he's called what's known as a cooler, which is he cools down and calms down the situation. And he just looks, he does everything nicely until you have to whoop that ass. Well, when you travel to Mississippi, Hicktown, small town, everybody knows each other. And usually the richest guy in town usually has his hands in everybody's pot and is crooked and has his henchmen to deliver messages. Well, the first night in Mississippi, Dalton, played by Patrick Swayze, goes to this club. And man, this place is raggedy, it's raunchy. Men are getting beat up. Females are getting beat up. You have a blind singer named Elvis <laughs> who's on stage getting beer bottles thrown at his ass. They got a, a cage in front of him with a net so he doesn't get a hit place is crazy got the bartender stealing money from the owner people are dealing drugs inside this place so he's sitting back and checking everything out like oh okay i see what's going on you know owner walks in sees them they make eye contact come upstairs let's talk next day the owner says dalton is the new man he's in charge of everything you listen to him he's your boss so he's firing people right away. You get out of here. You get out of here. You get out of here. And everybody he gets rid of, again, it's a small town. They're pissed off and they want revenge. And you have yet to see this guy fight, but his repetition, repetition, his reputation precedes himself. Everybody's talking about it. Man, I heard you kill somebody years ago. I heard you grab somebody's throat and pull it out of his neck. And you know, you're like, well, he's kind of thin. And he's, you know, Patrick Swayze is pretty as hell. Pretty boy. But they showed him working out, hitting the body bag, doing martial arts out there in the barn. I'm like, okay, he got skills. When he finally see him fight, he's cool. He's swift and he's smooth. And of course, he gets cut by a knife. He goes to the local doctor. She's fine as hell played by Kelly Lynch. They call her Doc. Romance ensues. You know, typical plot. It gets thick. They're going back and forth with the locals trying to burn down the place, beat up people, trying to, you know, disrupt the business, trying to stop the liquor from coming in, you know. And um, Sam Elliott is his good friend, mentor, guy that taught him everything. He comes into the picture that helps out because now, like I said, the situation's getting thick. I'm sitting back watching this movie. I can count all the black people on two fingers. One of them is Keith David. The other guy was an extra with no speaking lines. <laughs> hey, this movie is good. In the 80s, these movies were kind of campy, but you had a straightforward villain. I can't even call him an antagonist. He was a villain. And you could not wait for him to get his comeuppance. 
It was a fun ride. Rated R. Very violent. Lots of blood. Lots of butt neckedness. Everybody is beautiful in this movie. You got breasts, buttockses being exposed. Of course, Patrick Swayze gets out of bed, shows his entire body. The man is beautiful. Kelly Lynch is beautiful. She shows her body. You got women just naked dancing on stage at wild parties. You got a man in the beginning of the movie dancing at the club with his shirt off, just dancing. Dude buff as hell, but he's just dancing. You know, the country music It's fun. I don't know why it took me so long to see this movie, but damn, it was worth the wait. I had a blast with Roadhouse. Check it out. If you haven't, you're in for a treat. If you've seen it, you already know. Peace, love, respect, as always, man, and fade to black.